So it really amazes me how little people know about birds and what little credit that they give them. Because she gets along with so many people so well, I've decided to train her to be a therapy bird, my own personal, like, emotional support animal. To train her for that, that means I have to get her accustomed to new people and new places all the time. So I take her everywhere. I take her to work, I take her to class, if it's safe. And I take her shopping. I've taken her to doctor's appointments. The only places I don't take her are restaurants because she has the worst table manners. Here you go. I honestly didn't know that tiny birds like Conyers could be as affectionate and sweet like a cockatoo. Because originally I wanted a cockatoo because they're like puppies. They want to be held, they want to be petted, they want to be loved, they want to be hugged. And I found a tiny baby apartment sized bird that's just like a cockatoo. She is very intelligent. She comes when you call her. Um, she can be trained like a dog. She's pretty good with come here. I haven't clipped her wings, so she is able to fly. And so when I go like this and tell her to come here, she usually flies to me. She's pretty good about that. She loves it when my friends visit. Like she will leave me to fly to the door to greet them. And that warms my heart a lot. I think that's very sweet. She's a lot like having a feathered dog. But I think a better comparison is she's more like a feathered toddler because she requires so much more work than a cat or a dog. At Petco, before I was only training, now I, I'm basically only there for dog training now, but prior to that, I was the bird guy. Dogs, you really want to try to work towards verbal commands, getting them to learn the command. So, using a treat, just kind of using a treat to get Marley to go wherever I would want her to go, and then giving it to her when she completed what I wanted of her. Eventually, you want to work towards a verbal, but... I think the dogs are much easier to train verbal commands. Marley's really good with hand signals. I use my hand signals a lot. Show me your wings. Shake hands. Turn around. When you think of a bird and how small they are, you don't... You may think that they're not intelligent by the size of their brain and I had no idea the intelligence capacity that Marley has or any other birds for that matter until I got her. I was able to start training her very easily. Everything that I've trained Marley never took me more than 30 minutes at the max. That's individually. Some things like her spinning around or waving hello took me about five minutes. Especially with a bird that's a big commitment. It's a bigger commitment than a cat or a dog because they live much longer and require more intensive care. People that aren't just getting a bird to look at their bird in the cage and I get a lot of people that want to start out with a parrot where a good starter bird if you were just kind of wanting to look at them for show would probably be a parakeet. I had a recent case where Somebody got a bird, they handled the bird too much, the bird wasn't just ready, ready for all that handling, and somebody got bit, brought the bird back, somebody sold him another bird. And I, I specifically told the lady I was not going to sell her another bird. And she didn't understand why. So I had somebody else deal with her, I told my manager that I wasn't going to sell her anything because she didn't give the bird the chance. A lot of people will get birds and think that they're just going to be like a dog. You're, you get a new puppy, the puppy loves everybody. Yeah, they're sad the first day, 
but they love everybody. I think birds take a little bit longer to acclimate to different environments. Whenever I do take her to all of those places and people see her, they will stop and look at her and say word for word, oh my God, why is it she flying away? Like, that's not all that birds do. They're not just these terrified, flappy things that make noise. And a lot of people, surprisingly, at least for me, don't get that. I think people tend to look at birds as goldfish because of the expression bird brain. Birds are not goldfish. They are way too intelligent to be put in captivity like that. They cannot be in a cage all the time. Something that I may not like is, as of right now, is that she only does love me. I love it, but I don't like it sometimes. And I, what I mean by that is because I don't like when she nips other people. When I am home, Callie's out of the cage. And no, I don't leave her alone, mostly because she won't let me. As soon as I leave the room, she can fly now, so she just follows right after me and gets angry when I leave her. I think in the wild, that's like a death sentence. If the flock leaves you, that's like them abandoning you. I think that's part of the reason she's so afraid. Because if you're abandoned by yourself, then you're more susceptible to predators. After I got her, I was like, what am I getting into? She's a very, very good companion, and uh, I couldn't imagine life without her, honestly. Can you give me a kiss? Good bird.